you guys it is Tara and welcome back to my channel I'm so glad you guys are here to watch this video um, it is going to be the first sort of uh, check-in of 2020 because the last one was us just getting started so thank you for being here I hope you will give this video a thumbs up if you like it and make sure you guys leave any comments about any questions you have about what I'm doing or what the heck I'm talking about I will pre-warn you that there will be some f-bombs in this video um, because one of the things I said I was gonna do is Russell Brand's recovery class and that course has some f-bombs in it and uh, no joke you guys uh, I just am gonna be reading some of the stuff so I just want you to be aware that when I am getting to that part there is going to be some swearing I try to keep it to a minimum I do have a little bit of a potty mouth I'm trying to be better about it but um, <laughs> I, I generally keep the the f-bombs off of my channel but there's gonna be some today so prepare yourself here we go let's check out my list here um, Whew. Health, wellness, and spirituality. So, uh, kick the seatbelt extender. I still have it for now, but you know what? We are only a few weeks into the year. I got time. Um, attend weekly OA meetings. I am doing that. So the goal was to go at least once a week. I have been going at least twice. I really, really like it. I love the feeling that you get when you're there. Like, that everybody understands what you're going through because they're all going through it too. And there's just this, like, spirit of unconditional love and support that I haven't found many places. It's pretty awesome. I look forward to going to the meetings, actually. I really thought that it was going to be um, something I hated, but I really enjoy it. So caffeine free. I am still caffeine free. That is going well. Um, drinking more water. <laughs> That's not going so hot, if I'm being honest. And that's what this is about, right? Honesty. So, yeah, the, the water thing I'm struggling with, uh, it's very hit and miss. I, I, I have no excuses. I just don't like water and I don't want to do it, so I really drag my feet on it, even with the cute little app. Here you guys go. You can see my poor little plant is withered there and is, is not doing so well. Um, Russell Brand Recovery. All right, so... I have been doing Russell Brand's recovery course through um, Commune, and it is really, really good. So I'm using it as a supplement to my 12-step program doing OA. Basically, this is him giving you his interpretation of, of the 12 steps and really kind of walking you through them and helping you understand what you're supposed to be doing with each of the steps and kind of talking about his journey with recovery. I really, really like it. And one thing that I love actually is that it's not just focused on things like drugs and alcohol and gambling and sex addiction or food addiction like it's not just focused on those kinds of things he really highlights and shows you that you can actually 12 step anything in your life you can 12 step any problem um you can 12 step your relationship with your spouse you can 12 step um his example that he's actually working on um when he's filming is his uh, relationship to his phone um and how that is like impeding his life in a way that he doesn't like and he's finding you know that it's become a it's become a problem so he's working through that he's 12 stepping his relationship with his phone and technology and I think that's all really really cool I love the just like the spectrum of things that 12 step can cover um, I also really just love listening to him talk he's a very good speaker he's very eloquent he has a beautiful vocabulary and Oh my goodness. It's just, he just makes things so easy to understand and he frames things in a way that I just, I connect to it in a way that I don't necessarily do, um, always like when people are talking at the meeting, like when we talk about the steps and stuff, like I don't always necessarily connect to it like I do when he's talking about it. And I feel like if you have that, you should just go with it. So I'm working my 12 steps. I'm going to the meetings and stuff like that, but I'm also using the supplement. Um, so I've been doing, been doing the steps. These are the worksheets so far. Um, 
I don't know how familiar everybody is with 12 step program, uh, but I've completed the first three steps. The first step is we admitted we are powerless over our addiction and that our lives have become unmanageable. Russell calls this step, are you a bit fucked? And basically the answer is yes. You, you have to admit that you have a problem, your life has become unmanageable and name the problem that you're working on. And so he asks actually a lot more questions about it than that, but I did it. Step two, <laughs> came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. Or as Russell calls step two, could you not be fucked? Step two. Uh, it's like up there at the top of the paper. Could you not be fucked? The answer is yes. You have to believe that what your current state is, is not the final product, that you can be better, that you can heal, that you can get better, that this is not your final place unless you want it to be. And so um, I, uh, I had to do that. So uh, yes, I have a problem. Yes, I think I could get better with a power greater than myself. And this, again, has a lot more to it. There's a lot more questions. This is actually a three page. Yeah. This one's like a three pager. So um, did that one. And then step three, um, so the normal step three is made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood him. Um, so everybody's concept of God or the higher power is different and that's okay in 12 step. Like we don't all have to, um, prescribe to the same religion or anything like that. Um, it's God as you understand him. So that is helpful for a lot of people. Um, for others, the concept of God makes the 12 step program difficult, but, um, I, 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 it seems like it's possible for people to get past that. Um, but anyways, step three, as <laughs> Russell calls it, um, are you on your own going to unfuck yourself? So are you going to fix yourself all by yourself? And of course the answer is no, I obviously cannot fix myself all by myself. Otherwise I would have by now. So I need to turn my life over to a higher power. I need to rely on God as I understand him and, and look at other ways of being, um, and this is probably the easiest, shortest one because it's actually only to the line. Everything below the line is um, kind of prepping you for day four or step four, um, which is the step that I'm currently on. And it's going to be interesting because um, today, technically in the course, step five came out, but step four is very involved and it's, I'm not going to be able to get it done um, in time to like do each step each day. There's just no way. So if you're not familiar, step four is made a searching and fearless moral inventory of ourselves or as russell calls it step four write down all the things that are fucking you up or have ever fucked you up don't lie don't leave anything out so literally from the beginning of my life until now i need to write down everything i hold resentments over there's like a table and so in the first column List a person, place, or thing that you resent. So any feelings that you are holding on to, going all the way back to childhood even, you write it down, person, place, or thing. So it can be, you know, somebody that like kicked you in the shin in second grade. It could be the government. It could be God. It could be uh, anything, right? So um, it can even be yourself. I have myself listed. So I definitely... It's gonna take me a while to get everything in my whole life written down. Um, and then you go through why you resent it, what areas of yourself it affects, like your pride, self-esteem, personal relationships, sexual relationships, ambition, security, or finances. Um, you talk about your part in it, if you've been dishonest, if you've caused harm, if you've been uh, self-seeking, if you've made mistakes, if you've been selfish. And ultimately what we're trying to do is find patterns um, of our own character defects. See that long list? Those are a list of character defects because later we are gonna be seeking to release ourselves of these character defects and we're going to be working on improving ourselves as people and and getting rid of these things so i mean everything in there from greed sloth gluttony envy arrogance grandiosity dishonesty self-pity pride if, if it if you can think of it it's probably on there so 
it's it's intense and it's brutally honest and it's it's really digging deep because you have to admit to some ugly stuff you have to admit to things that you kind of shove down that you don't want to address that you don't want to talk about because if you leave anything out if you are not completely honest about it with this with this program it's not going to work so um i know that i have to get some things out and there's things that like I went to write them down and then I stopped myself and I know that I have to write them down and if I don't write them down then I'm not being honest with myself or my program so it's um it's tough because the next part after this step five is telling somebody else all that stuff you just wrote down so anyways it's a thing um but the point is I'm working my program with OA and with Russell's class as a supplement to my OA um, and as weird as it sounds I am enjoying it because I have already seen just small things like not saying big changes not saying healed not saying I'm on this shit like I'm not but I am seeing these little specks sprawling out and happening for me um, and it's nice and it's it's been exciting because I have some friends that I've been able to call and say oh my gosh this is the situation I was just in and this is how I normally would have handled it and here's how I handled it today um, such as like my car broke down and we had to do some massive repairs on it and normally that would be enough to send me into a downward binging spiral and I did not I am What's today? Today's the 17th, I think. 17th, so I've been 16 days binge-free. I stayed binge-free and abstinent through that. And then also, like, my son, you guys, most of you guys already know, he was pretty sick, and so he has ongoing stuff with his health. And he had an appointment where he had to go in and give blood for some tests. And, oh my goodness, you guys, that was so hard. It took three of us to hold him down to do all the blood draws and he had to give like six vials of blood and they actually had to double check that he weighed enough to even take that much blood um which he did apparently barely um so it was bad and like they couldn't find a vein they had to switch arms he was just so he just wouldn't stop screaming and crying and he's not supposed to scream and cry as most of you guys know so like the whole time i'm just like this nervous wreck and like i had to bring my uh four four year old wow she's five almost six you guys had to bring my five year old with me and she's on the autism spectrum and her brother crying is kind of triggering for her like she doesn't do super well with loud noises so she's standing there being a champ like playing peekaboo with him like trying to calm him down which really blew me away and like touched my heart like sorry it just like it touched me that like she was going beyond herself to like try to make him feel better and like in the moment I was so focused on making sure they were both okay that I was like okay but afterwards like I fell apart and I had to call my friend and like and have that moment with her and be like dude I'm not okay this is not okay I'm, I'm really struggling right now um, but I didn't binge and normally I would. So, sorry. Um, normally I would, but I didn't. So yay, <laughs> progress. Just doing this stuff, you guys, one day, one moment at a time when I have to because it's hard and it's real and like, like I'm not perfect. I'm sure at some point I'm gonna mess up, but like all I can worry about is me in, in the now. So anyways, if you guys are still here, like, bless you. <laughs> um, and then other than that, the thing um, that you guys are all here for is, of course, the weigh-in, I'm sure. And I'll be honest, you guys, I um, had kind of a hard time with it. So um, right now, I'm not following any specific eating program. I don't have any limitations. I'm not doing anything. My only rule right now is not to binge. Um, and so the first 14 days of, um, my binge free, you know, abstinence, I, I, I weighed myself after that and I had lost 9.2 pounds. And so I really struggled with that because of course 9.2 pounds in two weeks is not bad. Um, and this, I know I need more work because immediately I stepped on the scale and I saw that I had lost... 9.2 pounds and I just went 9.2 pounds ain't shit like I was really disappointed and kind of frustrated and 
it, it did for a second make me go what's the point like if it's not if it's only gonna be that much like why bother like I had those thoughts and I know I need to retrain those thoughts um and I think it's just because when I do keto which I love you guys if you're watching this and you're from before or you're confused as to why my channel's different I love keto I would like to go back to it eventually but I just don't think it's a good spot for me right now when I'm trying to work through my my eating disorder and I'm in recovery for it but um when I do keto in a week right the first week back on keto every time I can guarantee at least a 10 pound loss but like sometimes 15 to 20 pounds not even joking you so like it is difficult to look at two weeks of progress being 9.2 pounds when the first week I did keto when I first started I lost 17 pounds like I have to manage my expectations and I'm really hoping that my relationship with the scale doesn't become toxic because I really don't want that for myself uh, I think I'm gonna try to stick to it every two week weigh in just because I don't want to become fixated on that and I don't want the number on the scale to affect how I'm feeling about myself and how I'm feeling about my program and how I'm feeling about the other work that I'm doing because I know that if I can work on these other aspects um that it's really gonna help me um get where I need to go so um I'll leave it there if for some reason it does become detrimental to me if I do feel like it is impacting my ability to work a program successfully then I might scale back to once a month um we'll see just gonna take it as it comes so right now I'm just gonna leave it um and yeah so I think that's it you guys I know this was a little bit longer than I had intended and I'm sorry but I appreciate every single one of you guys and a lot of you have been so supportive in the comments about my changeover to taking back Tara I know the content is a little bit different like you know the grocery hauls are kind of weird not being keto now and the meal plan is weird not being keto um, trust me it feels weird for me too <laughs> um, but I do appreciate you guys being here and being supportive. I love you guys so much. Like, I know everybody on YouTube says that, but, like, I really do, and I really appreciate all your guys' support because I don't think I can do this by myself. As it says in step three, am I on my own going to unfuck myself? No, I'm not. I'm not going to do it all by myself. Um, I'm going to do it with the help of my family and friends. I'm going to do it with the help of the people at OA. I'm going to do it with the help of a doctor, with the therapist I'm trying to find. I'm going to do it with the help of all of you guys and I'm going to do it with the help of my higher power and I'm going to get there um, one day at a time. So I will see you guys very soon. Get some more videos out hopefully um, next week and that's all I got you guys. I'm so glad you guys are here again. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, hang out, see how this journey with me goes and make sure that you guys are sharing about your journeys down below or if you have any questions, I'm always uh, open to answering them and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.